welcome once again. What am I talking about? Well, I've kind of stayed away from it, haven't I? Like all the way through the series. Um, because one wanted to see how it played out. But two, my expectation was more of a seesaw battle. So, you know, not uh, an affair that I suppose seems in the end was one-sided. And I'm talking about India hosting England. It was quite fantastic, actually, the fact that in game number one, England managed to bring their best, bring their way of playing, and put India under so much pressure, and then got over the line. It kind of made everybody's mouth water, I think, everybody watching, thinking, okay, what do we have here? And I suppose first question would be, can India respond? My goodness, did they respond in quite emphatic fashion. And there's so much, so much to go through as far as as that's concerned. So um, to the victor goes the spoils. Um, I'll start off with the Indian. Big ups, huge, uh, that of a Chandran Ashwin gets to 100 tests. Um, 500 wickets. It's five, five wickets a match. That's what he's doing. I, I don't know. I don't know that you know we appreciate how incredible that is. I mean, that's unbelievable. It really is. And I know, and you'll say, oh, can his conditions, all of that. There are many others who are in those conditions as well, and yet it's him um, who's doing the job. Who continues to get better and better over time so yeah kudos congratulations big ups yeah and long may it continue hey look time comes to everyone but long may it continue it's, it's brilliant to watch then another stalwart is Rohit Sharma leadership I think it's important to to appreciate leadership I think he, he's done well with that team. And let's bear in mind that there are a couple of big names missing from from this lineup. And the expectation was that the younger guys would be put under pressure. And how would he be able to lead them? But then, having gone down in that first one, it had to come back somehow. So Rohit Sharma, Rahul Dravid, and the rest of that management team had to make sure that they got everybody together and got them going the right way, particularly the younger charges. Um, so kudos to him. And scoring runs, a couple of hundreds, that's, yeah, fantastic. It's not so long ago many were wondering where his next run was coming from, right? They were, oh, is he consistent enough? Is he doing well enough? Right, there you go, champion once again. Yeah, Ravi Jadeja, another one of the, um, I'll call him a, a stalwart and, and one of the older guard. And I, I do it this way because it's the youngsters that I, I really want to talk about um, at a time where you're thinking, oh, the experience. I mean, one of the greatest players of them all in that side is Virat Kohli, and then he's not available for two, then he's not available for the whole series. Oh, how are they going to manage without him? Look at this. Hey? And the youngsters stepped up. They just came, keep coming out of the woodwork. And it just shows you that they're all kind of hankering and like waiting and hoping and um, champing at the bit you know, to, to get an opportunity. And once they've got it, my goodness, start off with Yashazri Jaiswal. Magnificent. Name your format. And he turns up and he's the guy. That's something else, man. And fair enough, too, that he's man of the series. Um, Baz Ball, spoken about. I don't think India played that way. I also think that, you know, you poke the bear, don't you? And I think England did that. And it was kind of a, are you going to go down trying to play whichever way, or are you going to come at them fire with fire? And with young charges in their side, tell you what, 
It worked brilliantly for India because they came back at them and Jaiswal leading right from the front at the top of the order. He was magnificent. What a player. And in their own conditions, India, I think you're going to, whoever you are, you're going to struggle um, to one, play aggressively and two, be as effective in that aggressive play as they can be. Jaiswal was magnificent. Name other youngsters in Shubman Gill. Yeah, some decent performances probably would want more and you'd probably need more in a team that's requiring um, high standards as 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 the case is. Um, Drew Jurel, my goodness, there was that knock of 90. Uh, yeah, you know, somebody will do it. You know, that's not what teams will say. But if you're watching from the outside and stuff's happening and it's looking like, oh, this might fall apart. Now you're getting a sense that somebody will do it. And it could well be one of the younger guys, the newer guys within uh, the setup. So nice to see him doing well and showing that somebody else can and showing that they're not dependent on any particular players. These youngsters who are waiting in the wings can come in and can be the starring performer, you know. Fantastic, yeah, you know, to win a test match um, for your side. Safras fan? <laughs> what about him? It's so often, and for those who sort of do visit India and who watch and who look through um, the look through the statistics and the games that go on, this young man just piles on the runs at first class level. So for him to get an opportunity is, yeah, big. And he, he's been waiting for it for a long time. His father is there. You know, family, family so important. And just just a wholesome moment to see him turn up and, and to get runs as well. A fiery character. I enjoyed him in the last test match where he was 100% sure trying to convince Rohit Sharma to go for a... Uh, for a a review on a catch he'd taken and they didn't and then the next one just not wanting to be involved mannerism so funny he's such a character uh, but yeah importantly you got to put out the performance and he's he's done that he's done that having got an opportunity it just shows the the depth of india another young fellow who i'd like to speak about is kuldeep yadav yeah this game can be tough man it can spit you out some of the time and there was a time where he'd have probably hit rock bottom, uh, having turned up been so good, and then kind of people working out how he goes about his business and working out how to play him, and then it became difficult for him. Then he kind of lost it as well, couldn't quite get it where he wanted, had to go away, rebuild himself, rebuild mentally, and then with the skills as well, improve that, and then come back. And throughout this whole series, He's been the guy. He's just been the guy who could make anything happen. And this last test match actually was really good as an example of how he can just make things happen on a pitch that looks pretty good as a batting track. And yet, just like that, you know, there he is. Wicked here, wicked there. Two quick ones, three quick ones, and suddenly the game shifts and changes and in the favor of India. So, yeah. Kudos once again, Kuldeep Yadav, absolutely magnificent. Devdat Padikal, also one of those players. Rajat Patida gets a goal, one of those players. Yeah, I, I, I think as teams around the world, countries, look, they'd be admiring the way that there's so many of these youngsters who are waiting in the wings and the development of the players who are not necessarily within that first 11, which is the first 11, some might ask. Um, you know, that there's so many of them and they turn up and are quite accomplished. It helps a great deal that the time that they get their go is in their own conditions and home conditions. And I suppose that's a timing thing. That's also a selection thing. You've got to be smart about how you do that and how you introduce the younger players into... Um, the you know the highest level of the game into the cauldron, so to speak, because it is tough in, in test match cricket. So 
that was clever as well and done very strategically and it worked a treat. Yeah, where to from here? You could, you know, do, do India dominate? Um, certainly in their own conditions, I think it would be tough, as it always has been. Nobody goes over to India and just kind of has their way with them. So, yeah, they'll hope that that continues. Um, what's the next test series fixture and who's going to turn out as an 11? I think that's a question we can leave up in the air because we don't know. They'll have so many to pick from, not just... You know, 12 and 13, I reckon you're going 15, 16, 17, maybe you're going to 20. Talking about the, uh, you know, experienced men um, and legendary men and these youngsters who have shown they too can do it. Yeah, to think that so many were missing and they still got the job done. For England, yeah, as I finish, for England... There is a question talking to friends, colleagues um, at work about the whole England scenario. I'll say this, that McCullum, Stokes, they've made all of us, I don't care who you are, every time they play Test Match, you want to watch them because you want to see what's going to happen. You want to see how they'll approach it. And we've seen they've approached it pretty much the same way. I've been many discussion about you know, Root, does he need to do that? Does he need to go that way? Does he need to play that way? Kind of reverted back to the Joe Root everybody knows and again churned out 190, keeps churning those out. Runs galore for Joe Root. Great, great batter, unbelievable. Um, so there, I think there'll have to be a, a discussion, as was had, as I say, by friends and colleagues. I say at work, you probably say, you, you can't call it work, and you're right, you can't call it work. Um, it just seems on really good pitches, batting pitches, that's where they can, with gay abandon, go with the baz ball. I know they don't call it that in their camp, but that's what it's been dubbed, right? So they can go with the baz ball and, and not get away with it, because I think get away with it is to not give credence to their strategy. I think they can go that way and put heaps of pressure on teams, scoring that quickly, creating that much time in the game, that weight of runs and just everybody coming at you the way that they have done. And it's been successful, let's be fair. Um, yeah, Once it doesn't quite play out that way, if the pitches aren't quite um, easy enough for the batters to do that and you need to graft a whole lot more, then it becomes more difficult. And I think it's about trying for, for them trying to find that balance of being attacking and what is um, attacking ultra attacking in the conditions and they were found wanting because they got themselves in decent enough positions over the course of you know the five test series and even though it ends up 4-1 there's some games where they'll look and they'll think could have and should have and would have if and this is about way of playing at those critical times rather than charging and continuing to go, giving your opposition the chance of actually taking the wickets and thereby kind of giving away uh, and relinquishing a, a decent and probably more towards a winning position and ending up on the losing side. Because once you give it away, then India don't give it back. So it'll be a recalibration, I think. It'll be a, a chat and... Um, a, a re-strategizing on how exactly to do it. Um, do they go harder? I wouldn't be surprised with Baz McCullum. I, I think he generally thinks positively. And we've seen this from the way he's gone about things in his own career and, and now in his coaching career. Double down, as some might say. But perhaps it needs to be in particular conditions that they are able to do that in. We'll see. Uh, but now they've shifted things. England certainly have. As did all the other sides before there was that argument, wasn't there? About um, you know, playing a certain way and playing quickly and batting fast and many a side over the years uh, particular sides have done it over the years. It's not a brand new thing, but it's taking it to 
a different level, I suppose, um, these days. Yeah, and I'm not wanting to get drawn into into that argument or into that discussion. We'll see. I, I look forward to, to seeing how England play um, the next time they come out. Obviously, dependent on who they play and whether the competition is is good and it's um, you know fair and it's a a good contest between the two sides, then obviously there will be pressure put on either side and yeah, how they play will be important if they are to succeed or not. Well done, India. That's all there is to say, really. And Test match cricket, man. Yeah, love to watch it. Love to watch it. I don't know what you think. Like it? Love it? Enjoyed it? What do you think of the series? And what about India's youngsters? Are they ready? Is it time? Those are the questions that selectors and coaches and all the rest are going to have to answer, seeing as they've managed to do it without some of the big stars being there. Of course, they come straight back in. But when is the time? When is a good time? That's it for now. You'll tell me. Cheers.